so much to cover that I want to jump right into it and just say how awesome it is to be part of Slug Me 6. And I think this is probably the most ambitious move ever made in uh, design and engineering world to, to attempt to create a car in less than 24 hours from places all around the world. And it's so cool to be able to kick it off here with you right here in my home studio in, in New York. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick background about me. I'm an industrial designer and I pour my, all my passion and my soul into my work. Uh, to me, it's very personal, and I just love every minute of it. And I love using the new advanced tools that I found on the 3D Experience platform to make my job as a designer that much more successful. Um, a lot of people are probably going to recognize me from around the world because uh, my uh, long stint on American Chopper, uh, I was the lead designer there for Orange County Choppers on the Discovery Channel. And I actually... I have two people that are with me right now that have helped me uh, navigate the new tools and they're real close friends of mine, Andy Barnes and Jordan Tadich. You guys there? What's up? What's up, What's up Jason? Good to be here, man. I think this is going to be a, a lot of fun. Yeah. Definitely. I'm excited. Yeah. It, it's, there's so much, <laughs> there's so much to cover, but so, we're, we're so gonna Jason, Jason is a star of the show, um, but but I guess Andy and I can introduce ourselves really fast. We work for SolidWorks, Dasso Systems, SolidWorks, as industry process consultants. So I like to introduce myself as just a tech guy. Um, we get into the software, we we mess around with it, we we master as much of it as we can, and specifically what we're going to be showing today: um, 3D Sculptor, X Shape. Andy, myself, and Jason all love that application very much because we all have a background in surface modeling. Yeah. And uh, this, this tool is a tool that I would recommend for any surface modeler out there doing product design. It's just another tool to have in your toolbox um, to make complex shapes really, really fast. So I think you're going to like what you see today. And Jason, we're going to be doing some stuff live today too, right? Oh, we're going for it, man. We're yeah. going gold here. We, we are. We're gonna we're gonna show you where the rubber meets the pavement, so to speak, inside mm -hmm. 3D Sculptor X Shape. Um, just amazing, instant. Uh, what what I like to call it is just it's it's violently accurate. Okay, so we're gonna dip into that and do some live modeling for sure. We're gonna model a car, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah. So so where are you showing us right now? Like uh, this is your. You have your own website. Um, I do not have that. You're 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 definitely the celebrity status, I guess. If you if you have your own website, you know what? I just uh, it's it's more a place for me to to keep all the the pieces of art that I've been able to create through my years as a designer. Uh, so it's basically it's an online portfolio, and I use it to like to rep for reference and to you know to just have a see my body of work and, and go to it and, and really appreciate it. If that makes sense. Well, before we jump into the software, what was your, what's your favorite uh, project that you did on this page? Oh, on this is probably, I don't know. This one was pretty cool. This was for the uh, Sarah's and uh, the restaurant group. Um, and it was like, for me, it was, I was able to do something that wasn't a traditional motorcycle. And at the same time, there was a lot of surface modeling that I did inside SolidWorks on this one from, from the headlight to the front end, uh, the wheels, the air cleaner, um, you know, there's so many custom components and a lot of people don't realize it, but the oil tank is right there underneath that front exhaust pipe. And, uh, that that's, is that's pretty cool. You've super cool. So Jason, we've spent a lot of time together going back and forth on designs and workflows and all that stuff. And I've heard you use violent as an adjective multiple times. <laughs> and that, I, I think like that bike right there was the essence of your, your style. It's, yeah. it's violent, man. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't even ride motorcycles, so I know I get injured riding it, but I feel like I get injured just sitting on that thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's aggressive. Ties in when, when I say that, I'm, I'm mostly speaking of X shape and how powerful it is because it's it used to be a mentality that like you have to draw things first and you have to really dial them in and then you go into a 
a CAD program and, and you take your time and you have to, all this complex math and all this is going on. And now it's like the software is there and it's developed so much that I can use it now as a form of conceptualizing. You know what I mean? And well, and I think that's a perfect segue. Down. Yeah, yeah, that that's a perfect segue. Like uh, talking about time, I think we've done the intros. Let's jump into the software and and show them what it's all. Sure. So this is a uh, 3D Sculptor X shape, and you know I couldn't just really model one car. I had to model <laughs> a bunch of them, but even before that. I, I set out to, you know, like when I start a project, I like to start like an artboard. Okay. So I'll get ideas that I, that I see in different places. And sometimes it's, it's just other cars or other designers, what they're doing. I think it's important to just kind of have a good pulse on what the industry is up to. So I just pulled some stuff that I, I really liked and I made this artboard. Um, another place uh, where I draw a lot of inspiration from is from nature. And, you know, I got this stingray down here. And when I saw this picture of this stingray uh, or this manta ray, uh, I saw these like NACA ducks, you know, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But I saw like a perfectly like aerodynamic creature. And I was like, you know what, maybe maybe we could use that as, as, as kind of the driving force for, for the new car, because I mean, I didn't want to just model a car that already existed. I think that's not what any of us wanted to do. So I wanted to create something and I kind of, I guess, let nature inspire this. So here's one of the, uh, the like very first initial concept car. And I really liked this, this exoskeleton that kind of the frame like ripped out of the car hood and went, went all the way back to the tail and, uh, Here's another, like, just a sharp car, just down, you know, trying to keep it as low as possible and keep those curves to it. Uh, here's another quick, and again, these are just concept sketches done on my Wacom real, real quick. Sometimes I do it just on paper, like the pencil sketch you saw earlier, but it's really just a knock out like the bad ideas you know i could i could tell you're legit jason because you actually pronounce it wacom instead of wacom <laughs> yeah, like yeah, so yeah. many people mispronounce it <laughs> <laughs> right right we we know well, you know what you're doing now yeah i've relied on their equipment for years man and it's yeah. just you know it's very responsive and i just like it but they're this, a great partner yeah and, and like this is like an awesome like uh, it's a quick screenshot of, of a, the car or a car that i was working on in I wanted to cut lights into it and SolidWorks and everything. So I sketched right on top of it to get like just a rough idea I want of what I wanted it to be. And that's a, a marker rendering. But here, let's uh let's jump into it here. Let's go to uh I'll show you the the car that uh we we created as a design team here and selected is uh this guy right here uh ended up winning winning the yeah. competition. <laughs> I like that one. That one, that was for nice. Sure. But seeing um, this lineup, Jason, is is kind of a testament for act shape, the idea of it, like um, the right. the ability to change your mind quickly, the ability to you know just copy this over and push and pull it around and and stuff like that. And that, we'll be showing some of that today. But um, look at that lineup; that's that's impressive, man. And when you presented that to us, to like kind. Of Pieces of like, some designs and others that was, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, Seven uh, different cars. right, right. Just, just couldn't stop, you know, and that's when, that's when you know, you're having fun at what you do, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, I, my wife's like, well, how many cars are you going to design for this slug me six? And I'm like, as many as it takes, you know, <laughs> like we'll just keep going, you know? So but I really enjoy uh, the, the texture on this is, is the clay texture. I like the dark mirror background when I get in into X shape. Uh, it's super, you can customize it any way you want. You know what I mean? And for me, I was able to dial in and see these different shapes better with. Yeah, it does accentuate like the curvature to make sure everything's smooth and flowing the way you expect it to be. Yeah. And it's an absolute dream because 
let's face it, it's it's C2 surface continuity. It's all sub D surfaces and it doesn't let you get into a corner. You know what I mean? Like if you do something that's inappropriate with, with, with the surface, uh, you'll get a warning. You'll, you'll kind of get the brakes pumped on you, so to speak. Yeah, Jason, why don't you take us to kind of like a on a tour from the first one to the last one, just kind of talking about like some of the features you liked about each one, some of the unique sure. things you did. Sure. So over here we got a... Uh, oh, that, I recognize that one from the sketch, that kind of yeah, like curly... Yeah, so skeleton yeah, kind yeah. of thing going on. Yeah, this uh, is kind of looking like a Porsche in a way, you know, and it's got this this tail and and remind you uh, like a lot of these are just work in progress okay so these two i probably you like might. abandoned you didn't like yeah, where it was I going yeah, <laughs> Come to another one i should have deleted them you know and if i was a super paranoid designer i would have like whacked them you know but <laughs> but you know i kept them just as a reminder sometimes of what not to do like i always say okay but uh this one is where things started uh coming together for me on the end there i i really I really enjoyed the lines that I was starting to get with it. And it started, this started to remind me of Le Mans. It started to remind me of like a fighter jet, you know, the cockpit, yeah. you know, set up with those dual Mac ducks just sucking air in, you know, <laughs> and, and the wheels like almost exposed, but you can see the surface is like, it's like, it's just like pushing the wheels are pushing their way through the surface, you know? So to me, I was like, Oh my goodness. Like, when the sim guys, you know, Shreyas and Omar, when they get this, they're going to be like, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so, or they're going to be like, ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, there, there was some here, sure. but, and then Jordan took it and, uh, and he shaped this whole rear end back here because I had it just, I didn't have it dialed and I spent most of my time up here, you know, so Jordan took that model, uh, and was able to adjust it to get this really sharp rear spoiler, thin aerodynamic, and it just all just flows right, right through the back end of the car. Um, and then I was able to take this model, jump into SolidWorks. I cut out all the wheel wells. I cut the windows out, put some trim in it. I cut out the headlights, put some headlights inserted in it. And I actually did the wind diffusers on the tail end of it. And at one point I was working on NACA ducks underneath the car. And I think that's when my wife gave me like a timeout and was like, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's done away enough. from the computer. He's done enough. She's like, put your hands up. And I'm like, okay, okay. No. More NACA ducks, more, more, more power, you know? And so. <laughs> well, 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 Jay, I, I love the designs. It was so much fun going through them all. Um, you know, as a, you team. know, as a team and cause the, the parameters that we had for designing a hypercar, uh, we just took it from the actual Le Mans hypercar Wikipedia page. So like the wheelbase and things like that. And that's pretty much all we, all we constrained ourselves to your imagination clearly from looking at this ran wild. Um, you did all kinds of different and, designs and, you know, from this and from a few revisions, like you mentioned, even me and you going back and forth and collaborating on the same model, it uh, we arrived at that final design and and really fell in love with it. So why don't you? Um, I, I, I want to tell you something. Oh, I go wanna, ahead. I want to share a secret on what the most terrifying moment for me was on this whole project. I, I just <laughs> think it's 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 fair for everyone to know. Um, is when you you and Andy had the wheels all set up with the frame and and I imported that it was brought into the file and I could see that I needed to make massive changes to the body in order to accommodate the layout of the wheels okay because right. when I was doing this I had some idea of dimensions but I didn't want the dimensions of this number and that number to stunt any creativity. Well, so, I think we came up with the dimensions later. Like we found that Wikipedia post after you already got started too. What was so cool and my fears and everything were easily put, put to rest when I jumped in and it was like, Oh, okay. So I can just, I can just drag this surface and make it a little wider. I can make it a little narrower. So the power to adapt the surface to what we needed is just so lightning fast that like I, here I was, I was worried about something I, you know, I didn't need to be worried about, you know, and I was just able to fix it and, and move on. 
So, you know, I really like that, but that, that car, but, uh, this one spoke to me too. Um, I really enjoy, you know, the air intakes on the side of most of these cars. I really like that, but I wanted to keep this one. Like the shape is a little odd. It's a little different. And I turned the whole back of the car into, into one spoiler. Okay. Um, but it, it did get a little strange back here. Didn't spend a lot of time in the backside of it, but that yeah, was that that's one. that's awesome. That's cool. Hey, Jason, maybe you could do like one final uh, zoomed out view. I just asked the audience, what's everyone's favorite design from sure. counting from left to right? And then so this one's pretty. Well, well now don't gnarly. don't turn it around on us. Now the left to right won't work. I just wanted to pick <laughs> this one with the exoskeleton frame. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Here, here let's. Uh, Hopefully there'd be a lot of carbon fiber in that because it's that, yeah. <laughs> that exoskeleton seems like it'd be adding a lot of weight to the model. Uh, especially to the top, right? You want to keep the uh, the CG as low as pro as possible. Yeah. But yeah. Um, lots of activity on the chat. I'll catch up on that as you as you get started. Maybe uh, I don't know, Jason. What's next? You wanna you wanna. I want to mess around with the model a little bit. I want to show the most important part of this, this whole thing. And that is this guy right here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is straight up a slug. Uh, that is, slug that is concept. how you interpreted slug uh, from slug me. Love yeah. That. <laughs> that is, you know, the strongest, smartest, most athletic creature ever, ever created right there. Do you do you really believe that personally? Oh yeah, slugs. That's where it's at, man. All right. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Huge fan of slugs. All right. I, I, I feel like we could host like an hour podcast on just debating this topic, but yeah. um yeah. So that, that thought, was a good one. And I, I love the smile that you added to. He's a he's a happy slug. He's a happy slug, man. And so so much fun making that. Well, yeah, so. Uh, let's see. Where where do we want to go next? You want to see some? Uh, some I want to see a model. Live modeling. I want to. I want to. That's see what I want to see. Live modeling nodes, man. Okay. Okay. We yeah. see this. All right. Can, can so, you do it? Are you Are you cool with that, Jason? Are we putting a, you on the spot? I'm a little nervous, but I like. <laughs> I like being a little nervous. You know. There's There's actually <laughs> a lot of people in the chat kind of asking, like, uh, like, well, how does this compare to like SolidWorks surface modeling, um, and like other stuff, uh, you know, how does it compare to other like sub D modelers? So I mean, I think just watching you like push and pull some stuff is gonna like, uh, uh kind of open their eyes to that. Yeah. So I just start, I like to start with like just a box, you know, and I slap the box right there in the middle of the plane. And I'm just going to, this is where, you know, violent accuracy comes into place because I'm just <laughs> going to be straight up ruthless with this. And it keeps up with me. It does not, doesn't lag at all. It's like digital clay. I'm just a hundred percent sculpting right now. Um, I like staying in the screen, in the screen mode. Okay. Yeah. And it's right here. And I can just start pushing and pulling this right away. And one thing I like to do is I like to flatten out the bottom over here with this crease tool, which is amazing. It's like, it's like magic. The whole thing to me is magic because like <laughs> comparing is. this to like old ways of doing things and stuff, it's like, I, I'm like, I feel like one day I'm going to be talking to my kids like, no, no, I used to have to use a surface loft with guide curves and it was nuts. And if you changed <laughs> one thing, it was like, ah, you know, yep. and now it's like, yeah, man. Yeah. This is, this is real life. You know, it, it, you haven't even created a sketch yet, nor will you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. right. Yeah, you honestly, you reminded me of like my, my grandfather was a, uh, was an engineer and he would had a drafting table in the basement and talk about having right. to roll the pencil as you like created the line to keep a constant thickness of the line. And I'm oh, like, it. I don't know oh, what wow. you're talking about. We're doing everything on the computer. You know, it's yeah. kind of like <laughs> that, that same kind of like uh leap, you know, between, uh, you know, parametric modeling for surfacing and just like, look at this man, just like, Sub -D yeah, modeling, just yeah. it, and it's I'm there. That's the thing. It's like how you do it. I mean, you, you still have to have that human touch to it. You still have to have respect for what you're doing. Um, but it does make, I mean, the right tools make the difference, you know, like 
why why would I ever go back to like <laughs> just drag- hang on what what'd you just do right there man all oh, that material that's another magic magic button man that's called the extrude and it just it duplicates kind of like the surfaces and pushes them out so so you could just basically take a hunk of clay and just smash it onto the model wherever you yeah. need some more material yeah, man. it's amazing all right i love how we're violently smashing everything we <laughs> are. We are. <laughs> it's so cool man um so i'll go ahead and I'll, I'll knock out like this other quarter panel and just kind of wrote you know bang that out there and but yeah, as you're doing this, like, you know, to answer the question about the difference between surface modeling and stuff, and we were talking, we were joking, like the good old days of when surface modeling, I created all these sketches and whatnot, but sure. I mean, surface modeling isn't going away either. Like sure, the, exactly. the uh, immense precision and control yeah. that you have over defining every dimension of a spline as you create a boundary surface and things like that. That's sure. important. And, and to be honest, like I've done a lot of workflows that are hybrid where I start yeah. the model in, in X shape to create the overall shape. And then I'll, you know, maybe cut out sections so that I can like smooth them out or, or crease them or do yeah. certain things uh, differently inside of SolidWorks. Um, so the flexibility is, is endless. Um, oh, and that's why I said at the beginning of this, like, it's not, surface modeling versus this it's uh you know they could really be a complement to, to one another but that said the quality of the surfaces is outstanding it's not like this is only a conceptual tool it's great for concept design because of how fast you're able to like push this thing into shape right in front of our eyes like if you yeah. asked where would you be right now if you were trying to do this with surface modeling? You would still be creating like an initial master sketch probably and <laughs> defining parameters and dimensions right. and things like that. And, and here fine. you've got a solid model. It's crazy. So there's some awesome stuff going on in the chat. Um, and there's uh, some people bringing up, uh, well, it's kind of like the, the same topic. Like, does this import as a mesh or a solid? And then they're asking about a couple other programs that do similar things. And what's the advantage over those other programs? You had mentioned that hybrid modeling, right? One of the huge advantages that we have with X-Shape is we can open this up directly in SolidWorks as a watertight solid body with no B, errors. B rep right? surfaces. Yeah. Right. And it's like, that's the crazy part, right? Like and that, C2 like, curvature continuity by default. Yeah. So you're not even, Jason's not even have to worry about boundary yeah. conditions and am I blending as smooth as possible from this face to that face? That's all happening automatically, um, yeah. which is and amazing. With- the other thing to mention is like there's like uh, this uh, uh, connector, right? So that you can um, so you can seamlessly pass things back and forth uh, between SolidWorks and the 3D Experience platform via the task pane. That comes with X Shape, right? So like if you are using this tool, you have access to that connector. You can bring stuff into SolidWorks, uh, cut a hole in it, uh, you know, put some vents in there, put you know, put those uh, naked ducts on the bottom with some like uh, surfacing tools and then you can go update your model in X shape. You hit the update button in SolidWorks, the whole model comes back in. Um, and, and a lot of times if you haven't, if you haven't done a drastic change, it comes in without uh, any errors, right? Which is also wild. You're not re-importing the whole thing. It's just updating the faces to a new position, right? I gotta be honest. I'm a little embarrassed being an engineer and I didn't even know the word Macaduct, or I don't even know Maca, if I'm saying that. Macaduct. Macaduct. I didn't, I didn't know what they were for. Jason told me what Dude, they were for. I was, I was like, <laughs> I, the only reason I learned it is because we did uh, we did a space shuttle tribute chopper for NASA, and that's uh, one of the things that I learned from uh, working with with their crew there on that on that bike. So yeah. Of course we had a knack of duck there, you know? Right, right. Okay. All right. Well, sweet. I'm not, I'm not as embarrassed. No. no. J- uh, Jason, I think you just got to turn off symmetry and turn it back on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to, I'm not sure. This like- is looking, this is fun to watch, man. I mean, this is the, this is the best part about uh sub D modeling is it's super intuitive. Like we're just having a side conversation right here. You guys are watching Jason do magical things on the screen and, um, and you're learning the interface as you're watching because truly all there is to it is translating, rotating, scaling. Um, and then there's like a, a, 
handful of advanced tools at the bottom. I just added a whole set of edges all the way across just by selecting particular to it. And so now I can do more detail on like this windshield and get this, get this straightened back out. All right. Yeah. I, I always equate that to kind of like uh, the strategy of using splines and solid works, right? Like you want to start off with less, less yeah. is more. So you don't have way too much to manage and control. And then where you but, find out that you need more detail, you can add those loops in when necessary. One thing that struck me is just awesome with this is like, oh man, I want to select this edge all the way around. I'm used to control clicking my way around. And one day I was like, I'm just going to double click this. And it just worked. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so it's stuff like that. It's been thought out. It's been, it's been, you know, it's been pro proven to be intuitive with, while I use it is what I'm trying to say. Yes. And a lot of times uh, you don't want to just drag the surface up. Sometimes you want to rotate it, you know, because you want that different, that different angle there. So, yeah, I mean, we could, uh, we could beat this to death, but I, I think you can see how quick it, it comes alive. And I want to, I want to cover a lot more because like, guys, I modeled a seat, I modeled a seat and a dashboard and, and a whole bunch of fun stuff. And All right. I would, would really feel bad if I missed out on showing off uh, SolidWorks Visualize because yeah, I understand, not, man. Like, uh, like, like we, like we were worried about going into this, like we could probably go on three hours. Right. So before we leave this model, though, uh, Sean asked a great question. Uh, bro, uh, guess, how many features does this tree have if it were made in SolidWorks? <laughs> that, is, that is a great question. Yeah. That's like guessing the uh, the jelly beans in the jar yeah, yeah, at the yeah, state yeah. fair or whatever. It's a, it's a big number. <laughs> <laughs> is it 100? Is it 400? I don't know, uh. but it's a big number. Yeah. No, we we all have to give an honest honest guess. I'm gonna think I, about I think this. this is like this is like a name that tune. This is like I could do this in 24 features. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, That's so a tough question, but but no less than 100. Probably yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. You I, I mean, the, you're including sketches and yeah, and yeah, all of every that single stuff. feature. That's what I would think yeah, yeah. When in yeah, doubt, for sure. slam it out. There we go. There we go. No, I mean, honestly, this is like a it? really cool looking car, Jason. This like, is. I would, like, this I is. would, I would definitely be interested in this if it was on the lot. And like, you just okay. made that in like ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, but you know what? It's, it's just, it, I'm just going with the flow of things, and I'm just letting, you know, letting it happen. And I, I just really, I really enjoy it, man. Um, I, I don't know if I, I can fit my three kids in that. No, but, cool in the um, back. It comes with a trailer, dude. Okay. All I, right. Cool. I think I would call this car Cadillac to the future, right? It's got like a, <laughs> it's got like a Cadillac front end almost, but it's definitely like a future car. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Hopefully GM's yeah. watching. Yeah. Well, we're not taking what. job offers, guys, but <laughs> we know. will sell our ideas and sure. our 3D models. No. Oh. <laughs> Great. But uh all right, let's let's stay on track here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do let's cool. see some of the other stuff that you mentioned, yeah, yeah. Jason. Uh, you said, you you said uh, share some other design. Uh yeah, let's go into visualize. Just all right, let's take a little sub D break and amazing. Well, I know no. Mike Sandy, I know Mike Sandy is logged into the chat, Jason. So Legend. you gotta give him a shout out because <laughs> I know he was instrumental. You gave us credit for helping you along with right. X right. shape and stuff, but Sandy is a visualized master, right? Yeah, Mike Mike Sandy's helped me out a lot, man. Uh, and it's just there's a lot of tutorials and stuff that he's done online. Uh, another guy, Chris Mowat, I've seen seen. I his think work. he's I think he's logged and, in too. Yeah, yeah I saw Mowat great. on there too. Another yeah, visualized. Awesome. Yeah, he's amazing. Another visualized legend, uh, Brian Hilner, uh, amazing demo uh, using visualize. So. Uh, those guys, uh, the, and that's like anything out there. The content's out there. You just got to dig it yeah. up, find it, research it. And if you have enough passion, uh, you'll, you'll be driven to do cool stuff, right? So for me, one of the things is uh, the, the the whole real-time rendering thing that NVIDIA has got cooked into, into this right here using the, the, the CUDA cores on the graphics cards and, and everything else. 
it just it makes rendering some seconds uh, when it used to be used to be minutes or hours even you know uh, I remember you know breaking for lunch and oh, it's gonna render you know we'll see what hopefully hopefully I don't get a light sticking through or anything but uh yeah you come back and the textures are all wrong and, and you right. realize it like oh I yeah. see I got a light right there so I just I just go to scene and I'm gonna enable that light so it disappears because I, I don't need it for this actual one and what what's great about uh visualize is it takes it takes the guesswork out of setting up a light rig setting up all the materials and shaders just right I mean you can add and subtract and do a whole bunch of really cool stuff but right out of the gate like here's a model you know you you spend all the time on the model you know I was in SolidWorks like getting modeling these headlights and cutting them out and and I was you know in SolidWorks doing uh, the the air diff you know in the back here um and you spend the time doing that, like when you get to a rendering program, you want it to happen, you yeah. know, like, bam, there. Oh, wow, cool. That's what it's going to look like. Because you might want to go back into X shape. You might want to go back into SolidWorks and, and make those tweaks. And, and it's important to see uh, whatever product it is. Uh, yeah. It's important yeah. to see it, you know, in the wood grain finish, in the C fiber finish, in the car paint, triple gloss, you know, you know, we've, I mean? we've got some, we've got some new uh, advanced textures that you can model with live now in, in X shape. But I mean, it visualizes another level, right? There's like a really advanced rendering algorithms going on here. It's yeah. so fast. And this is, this is close as far as it comes to, a visual concept, you know, uh, checking out the appearances, checking out the coatings, all that stuff to uh, to a real life, you know, model that, that has been printed and finished and look painted. Look, if we want so to do crazy. like a nice evil green, you know, look how fast that, that evil and up. violent. Yeah, how about how about going to the bright smash. green? Maybe. Let's go super happy, happy, happy times. There we go. I love right. it. Purple paint. But action. I do. I do want to know what's going on with these uh, tire treads and rims. Cause I got to oh, tell you, ooh. they look really nice. That, Who did all that? I don't know. Yeah. This, this well, you're, I was hoping we'd ignore those. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to point it out, but you know, I don't want to <laughs> steal Mr. Andy, Andy Barnes thunder there, but yeah. What is it? It's a, uh, in, um, tell us Andy. Three yeah, so, or three and a half hours. Yeah. So at 4 p.m., we're going to take a look at 4 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time. Standard time, I should it's, say. The world doesn't revolve around you, Andy. Come I know, on. right? Everything's in Boston. Um, <laughs> we're going to take a look at those uh, tire treads um, uh, with a program called 3D Pattern Shape Creator, which is super cool. Um, we're not going to look at the rims at all, but those were really fun. Those were done completely in a side of X shape as well. Also, I think uh, we got to check out the rack and pinion connections on this thing. Cause it seems like the uh, left tire is turned, but the right tire is not. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, in rendering, you do what you do, what it takes to make the shot look right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Zoom in on that wheel. Did you put the 3DS logo on that? Exterior only man, but <laughs> somewhere in a dashboard somewhere. Well, maybe we should show that. Do we got time? You guys want to see Jordan, do you want to see one more thing? I was going to show the seat next. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, for that. sure. But right. I wanted to see, did you did you take the time to put the logo, the 3DS logo on the rim? Oh, for sure, man. Zoom in on that, man. Like yeah. uh give Andy some love with his uh rim design and his it yeah. The rim design's amazing. I mean, that's pretty cool. And that was done in X shape. Yeah, and whole, pretty the quickly. Entire, the entire rim is done in X shape. It was actually X shape and X design. There was some like parametric stuff, but uh yeah, because you probably did a circular thing. pattern. Yeah, I did a circular pattern and like the outside of the rim was kind of uh, uh, just like a revolve. And then all the weird stuff you see in the middle is uh, X shape. Ooh, I like that lighting. Good job, Jason. Look at how quick he was to yeah, spotlight that. I turned that light on. I and You can set the lights to target different different items or, or anything like that. But a lot yeah. of people don't, a lot of people sleep on visualize. They completely forget that it comes free with... Uh, with with SolidWorks, professional and premium, right? Yep. So people, yeah, if you want to impress your boss as you're designing a new product line or anything like that, 
um, or impress your customers, uh, you got to you got to put this application to use for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Jason, uh, how about some of those yeah. some of those other models that uh, you know you modeled previously? Let's we yeah. got to stay on pace right now because um, sure, well while you're hopping in there, I'll actually uh, bring up uh, we we had talked about this ahead of time, but uh, somebody mentioned uh, where's the door. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, do no. you get in? No, I got you covered. <laughs> okay. What do you got? Door, what do you got? Mr. Door person. It's a, it's a cockpit. And if you look closely, it, it swings open. Okay. So you get in it like, like Tom Cruise would get into a fighter jet. Okay. A backflip. Or, or like, or like somebody like slowly lowering themselves into a kayak on some like, yes, on some like <laughs> not steady water. That's how I imagine it. That's, That's how, how I would go in real. It, it, no, I imagine it that I'm doing a backflip into it, but how it would go in real life is like I'm like <laughs> wobbling and falling, and I sprain my ankle. Oh, for so, sure. so, and then, so I, and then gotta, I find out I don't fit because we designed it for like a, a five foot very eight person. person. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. There is yeah. not a lot of uh, so I'm going to be doing the frame design later tonight. So we're talking like seven hours and 20 minutes from now. <laughs> and, uh, and I was talking to Shreyas who has all kinds of experience. He did like his, uh, university's formula SS SAE car, and he specifically worked on the frame. So he, he was probably our biggest resource when it came to like, let's make sure that this thing isn't completely wild like what jason's showing right now like we would not put the center of mass that high with the frame right and uh we wouldn't you know the aerodynamics and all that stuff however that would make a speaking of kayaks an awesome kayak rack probably um you know maybe maybe we could design like a a suburban dad's uh hyper car that's what we're doing right now right and with the kid trailer in the back too i, I like that idea i think that's probably something we should work on a little bit on the side, Jason. I think that that could go somewhere. Um, I would buy one, but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the frame design is compact. Like once you put like a little silhouette image of the human, that's actually going to be sitting in it, how much space they, they actually consolidate, uh, around there. It's, it's just amazing. Um, so these things are, these hypercars are built super efficiently and, you know, we try to stay, keep it as authentic and genuine as possible and, and stay true to all those considerations. Right. And at the same time, I wanted to get out there a little bit. And that's why I think we, we yeah. toyed with the idea of doing this exoskeleton frame that kind of ripped over the cockpit of the car to protect ultimately the driver. But, and know, I hope people saw it, like how cool that was. You were just like, yeah, I mean, it looked like a noodle coming across together. the model yeah. and then blending and it, them together, merging it's, them. It's watertight solid, you know, drop it right in the yeah. solid work, start cutting into it, shell it out, do, do what you have to do to get to the, get to the next step. But uh, yeah, that was one of the concepts. And then this, this is going to be real quick. If we got time. Yeah. We got three minutes, right guys. This is uh this is yeah. the seat. Uh, okay. So this, this is where the driver sits. Wanted to do something a little bit exotic, but still look and feel like a race car seat. Again, I started with the box, just started scaling it non-uniform in different directions, getting an idea for it. And as I'm doing this, I'm just going for it. Uh, I sketched a bunch of seats and I didn't really like any of them. <laughs> so, so I just jumped into modeling and I was like, well, maybe maybe X, X shape will save the day here. And it, it absolutely did because what I was able to do is conceptualize model again in here. Uh, just a really unique uh, race car seat. This yeah. is, this is looking really cool. And Hey, I want to uh, shout out CT SUG user group. I, I'm guessing that's a Connecticut uh, SolidWorks user group. Uh, Central They're Texas, <laughs> man. Look at the, look oh, at the, uh, dude. the logo. Are you serious? Okay. Oh, yeah. My bad. My bad, Central Texas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> big difference there. I was way off. <laughs> Anyways, they're asking if what we were showing was Visualize Pro, which is a great question. It was actually standard, right, Jason? Because Visualize Pro is needed for like animations and, and moving type uh, outputs, but like for creating static renders, yeah. Um, just images, uh, you could use standard and that's again, available in SOLIDWORKS, uh, professional and premium. 
Yeah, and so. even with standard, you get the turntable too, right? Which is uh, which is super handy, I think. Like a lot of times, like if you want the standard animation that you might want is just the thing rotating around, like turntable style. So right, just, just to so show the I'm product, saying. it makes it makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah. really really strong feature. And uh, the keyframing, like I've spent a lot of time in Visualize Pro and setting up the keyframes and your in and outs and the speed from, you know, tangent to, to fast or quick or hold, all that terminology is there from my animation days at the video game place. So it was really cool. I picked up all those uh, keyframes and everything right away and was able to do some pretty cool animations with it. This, uh, this video right here, Jason, of you modeling the seat is is so cool. It's like, I, 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 want, I want to sit in that seat. Like when is the technology going to be to where as I'm modeling the seat behind me is just like <laughs> reshaping itself and I can feel the comfort. It's we're, we're close to that. It feels like oh, 3D, that's a world 2022. It'll yeah. be, <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the, uh, but, but seriously, the visual feedback that you get while you're modeling, I feel like I'm inside your brain, just watching this, like knowing your thoughts and seeing where you're jumping to. And this catches your attention. So you start moving it around. Um, it's, it's a cool thing. It makes it a great tool for design reviews too, right? Because you could all log in as we are right now and everyone else could be given feedback, like, Oh, make that a little wider. And you know, yeah. you're not going to, you're not going to be writing down a list and then taking it back to your desk and then spending hours and hours implementing those and sending screenshots and stuff. You're just going to have X shape open right. and do exactly what they're asking and show immediately instantaneously, like what, what would happen, what it would look like. So that was modeled right there. What you saw, it, it was 15 minutes. And then I condensed it down a little bit. It might've been less than 15 minutes actually. So it's quick. And I think that's the takeaway is that the software now is live. It's alive. You're using it. Right. You're seeing it happen before your eyes. So it's not like, oh, work on this for a while and then email it somewhere. You know, <laughs> and then someone, <laughs> someone reviews it. It's like, <clears throat> no, guys, you don't understand. It's not what we do it anymore. We do it now. Let's go. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You can get eyes on it. And, and that's what was so great about working with this team is seeing the different areas for improvement on the on the model of the car, the exterior body, and being able to adjust and just keep finessing it and getting the car and look that we wanted. So, yeah, I, I just really appreciate the new way. You know what I mean? It's just, it's awesome. Yeah, I man. can't believe I missed out on Central Texas. So I, I know Steve. Uh, yeah. It's. I apologize, Steve. What one shop is um, never going to let you live that down, man. That's yeah, right. Yeah, there. yeah, for sure. Um, I I was going to say uh, another uh, shameless plug for myself because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> that uh, that seat that you modeled at four o'clock live, uh, no no net, right? Not a video live. I'm going to put a crazy pattern on that seat uh, for you guys to watch. Awesome. So we'll see what happens, awesome. and maybe. Maybe I'll maybe I'll fail. Maybe it'll crash and burn. Maybe I'll, maybe the car will slam into the wall and they'll throw a red flag. But that's the excitement of tuning in, you know. Yes. Yeah, see what yeah. happens. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Shake and bake. You got to admit, like everyone that watches racing is uh, has that motivation in the back of their little bit, <laughs> a little bit, little bit. Little bit. just yeah. a little bit. They won't admit it, but stakes yeah. are high, so that's what makes it interesting. So yeah. What's on the screen now is uh, it's just another car concept that that I recorded the, uh, the other day, and I just let this go uh, live, live speed. So it's about eight minutes. So, so within eight minutes, I can, I can produce like a, a, a concept of sorts, but this one gets a little, gets a little different because I started, I started getting tapped out of like the hypercar scene, you know? <laughs> so, so this one I'll, I'll I mean, you only yeah. modeled uh what eight of them or so. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> and the slug. Don't forget the slug. The slug too. <laughs> I kind of want that 3D printed and on my desk. Yeah, that, that slug was for that is Dan, Dan Wagner, okay? Because he's such a great person that I want Shout wanted, out to Dan Wagner for uh, instrumenting a lot that, of this. Yeah, have man. that slug, okay? And the other guys, Todd, Eric, and uh, Cam. Eric, right, yeah. right. So awesome. So, but yeah, let's see what's happening with this car. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you uh, from... From an old project that I that I held on to, this is uh, this is a, 
a bow tie, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's from uh, probably the greatest car company ever. But uh, it's also... <laughs> Hang on now. Both my parents worked at Ford, so <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry. It's also... It an put me through cleaner. college. So this, is that, this, is, this goes right on to uh, a carburetor, uh, an SMS oh, carburetor. Cool. So, yeah. All right. Nice. One of those. And that, nice. that was, uh, you know modeled up and milled out of like four inches of solid aluminum right oh so that's a real uh inexpensive part yeah yeah real cheap thing to make right <laughs> <laughs> nice so do do we have any looks, other questions? looks like we got oh yeah it looks like we got some more questions coming let's in let's do it um can x design be used in assembly and how do you convert such x design to assembly format so yes, for sure. What we're showing right now is X shape, but um, at any time, if this was if this wasn't a video, Jason could hit the X key and swap over to any of the other apps, including what Andy will be working on later, 3D Pattern Shape Creator, or like you mentioned, uh, X Design. And X Design is our foundational CAD tool in the browser. Did we even mention that this is all in the cloud? Like I don't even. Oh I don't my even gosh. Yeah, this is, in a, <laughs> this is this a web is browser. In a Chrome browser. Yeah, yeah, any, yeah. Any browser will do, but I believe this is a Chrome browser. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, um, so this is any device, right? I know uh, Jason mostly works on like a, a Mac Airbook. Is that a thing? No, I don't even, I don't even know what they are. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, it could be on any device, uh, which is which is super cool because a lot of times we do get that question, like, why do I have to have you know a 64 bit Windows machine to run my SolidWorks? Yeah. And now you don't. All, all the data yeah. is stored on the cloud. So, you know, I can log in from, you know, my wife's laptop or somewhere yep. else if I'm at the machine shop and I can jump in and all my data is right there. So I don't have to worry about losing it or saving it to external hard drives anymore. So that's that's powerful stuff, right? But yeah, yeah X-Design I mean, like, is the parametric modeling app and absolutely it has like all the assembly tools that, that you can imagine. So you could just start creating new parts on the fly, doing in-concept assembly design around the shape that Jason just created um, and, and and do everything that you'd expect you could. So yes, X-Design would be the app to, to do all that assembly stuff you you asked about. Just Absolutely. to finish, just to wrap up that question. Yeah, and like uh, another one, another question I saw is how do you divide the chair into its component parts? Um, just like you would with SolidWorks, there's a lot of different ways you could do it, but once you have that like big X shape body, you can just start slicing it up. Now, if you already have SolidWorks and SolidWorks is like, you know, your warm, comfy feeling, right? Like you can totally throw it back into SolidWorks and start using all of the tools you would use inside of SolidWorks to start chunking it up. Or um, if you wanted to go full browser, you can do all that stuff inside of X design as well. Um, so it's really, it's really up to you, but you know, it's it, the, the key is, it's a watertight solid body. So like you just chunk it out, you know, whatever, you know, you may, maybe you want to use uh, ruled surfaces and split bodies or, or just uh, some sketches or whatever, you know, um, offset surface thicken, you know, there are lots of ways you could do it, but it's a watertight solid body. You can do anything you want with it. Right. Exactly. And, and I always need to finish, finish the item in, in SolidWorks is where I'm comfortable because I've been using yeah. it and I know it really well and it does its job. So this is just like a supplement to that. Okay? okay. So it gets it started and then I'll go in and I'll finish it. That's how I prefer it inside SolidWorks. So right well, I think that's been our motto well. too. Uh, SolidWorks is motto really, you know, GP was on, on the episode right before this. And I've heard him say many times, like what we're focused on as far as our future strategy is flexibility for our customers. So, yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many ways that we could go. We could finish a design in X design, like uh, the user mentioned, and um, or we could take it into SolidWorks. So wherever you're most comfortable right now, you've got like so many options within like all the the tools that we have, which is which is really fun. Um, and to be honest, I have a hard time choosing anymore because I like them all. So uh, <laughs> for someone that could sometimes get into like some indecisive. Uh, rat holes like i i'm like gosh oh, should i do it here should i do it there i've got too many decisions now because <laughs> they're all so great I, I finally figured out what you're doing here jason you uh you're like you know what i'm not doing a supercar anymore i'm going 
back in time. We're doing we're doing a hot rod, right? Hence the Chevy. <laughs> um, I I get it now. Uh, that's what it and, is. Uh, and, and honestly, I know I know you threw up the Chevy logo, but like this is this is starting to look a little bit like a good friend of mine, Mike Sabochak, has an old uh, thirty one, yes. I think, Model T, uh, which is like got this really awesome purple paint on it. Um, so I think he'd be really interested in this. He's wanted to do a hot rod in X shape for a while, so. We'll, we'll have that's to a, that's your favorite color too, right, Andy? Purple. It is. Yeah, purple is mad nice. It's, it's I know it's a scientific <laughs> fact. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking about like I'm I'm from Ohio. One of the pro- biggest problems on our roads is like deer crossing the street. Um, I don't think <laughs> I don't I think this car this. would have any issue. No, <laughs> man. That, you know that's that's actually as long as they could land after doing like six side flips. Uh, and being be launched like yeah. 15 feet in the air. That's the I think cattle, I think it would solve our problem. That's the cattle catcher right there. They used to put them in front of trains to right exactly like cattle Stones catcher. Stuff. That's what it's called. So it'll it'll it's kind of like a ramp. So you know no no body damage. <laughs> but you know what? I did that for fun. It's a hot rod. Uh, from from initial start, it took eight minutes. Second, you know, I I had some more fun in like jumped, jumped back in and, and started, you know, I did some more stuff in here with it. I had like, Andy, did you catch that? He's got his own logo too. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, are we supposed to ask you for your autograph, Jason? No, <laughs> no I, he does have a cool autograph though. I saw it on his website. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, good stuff. So I'm just oh, Dan Birdseye. What's up, man? Uh, it's called a deer deflector in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Cleveland friend of mine. Yeah. Good, good. All right. Well, well, uh, we are, we're pretty close to the end of the hour. We got six more minutes though. So let's, uh, anyone in the audience, go ahead and chat us up. Uh, if you got some final questions, and we'll get those answered. I'm going to scroll through here too, because I haven't done, I'm supposed to be the host of the show and I haven't done my uh, due diligence of reading I've, all the chats. I've been, uh, I've been doing your job, uh, you know, because somebody needs to do it. Um, and I think, I think we've actually answered, <laughs> I think we've actually answered uh, uh, all the questions that did. There's a lot of people in the chat, like answering each other's questions, which is awesome. Like that's what you get at a user group, right? You have a bunch that of is. super users in the room you know, talking to each other, answering each other, you know, I'll, I've been there before, right? Uh, so a bunch of people already know, and they're answering questions left and right. Oh, hey, hey. we got? Hello. We've got, a, so. we've got a special guest. This is uh, the hot rod. I just, I just added a visor to it, put a couple more minutes in. Oh, that looks uh, sick. Put a back window, put a back window on it, and, you know, I wasn't going for one particular, you know, look. I was just kind of, just kind of doing it. That's what concept design is all about, and man. I stretched out, you know, the hood a little bit and kicked it around. Yeah. But you made uh, me not one hundred percent sure about it. Uh, um, uh, like a deer deflecting the <laughs> proper angle, like that little thing coming out over the hood. Now is making yeah, now it it's risky. Catch it, right? <laughs> yeah. It, it's, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mac Mac actually says, uh, so now you can win by a nose. There I like go, that. Man. Yeah. That is, Just get that, get that thing way out there. Right? Max, yeah. I'm going to guess that's Mac Stevens from, from yeah, you Virginia got it. Beach. There Just, you go, man. going off uh, memory here. What's up, <laughs> Mac? That's awesome. Oh, nice. Right. Oh, and Craig Rydell's here too. We've got, uh, so Dan Birchai was the former leader of the best user group in the world. I'm kidding all the other user group leaders <laughs> out here, but, but I'm not, they did win a, they did win an award one year, the Neo Swag Northeast Ohio, where I'm from. Shout out the, the award winning North, the award Ohio winning swing. Northeast Ohio mm-hmm. user group. Uh, yeah. I heard a lot about that. And Craig Rydell is, is on here too. <laughs> who's the current leader with, uh, with Jerry. Nice. So it's awesome. H- I We've know. actually got a, uh, a user group coming up in, in September that I'll be presenting at. So I'm super excited about. Cool. cool. Well, yeah, I think we're, I think that's it guys. I think we're about to wrap it up. Um, All right. So we can actually like head back to the desk. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's send it back over to the desk and uh, take it from there. Thanks guys. Thank you, Jason, for your awesome work. So the awesome, design man. was, was radical, man. Awesome, awesome job. Good. And, and Andy and I will be back in, uh, in a few hours.